Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to this quick short video on CSS units. I won't be touching my editor but you will understand thoroughly about these three musketeers of internet. Pixels, AMs and RAMs. They are pretty popular over the CSS world but it's a little bit confusion because the videos are too long. So let's not make it too long, let's understand the pixels. First and foremost, pixels which is the most commonly used unit over the CSS. And one thing you need to understand, it's totally different from what you see pixels on your mobile phone or your laptop screens versus the pixels that you use in the CSS. It is fixed measurements, so whole story short, what the big it looks on as if you make anything as 30 pixel, the thing it looks big and gigantic on your laptop screen, it's going to look same gigantic look on a mobile screen as well. So be cautious when you're designing the responsive uh, websites. The next one is M's. M's are totally relative to their parents. So for example, let's take example here. If you put up a division and you make it a font size as 16 pixel, now everything inside the uh, division is going to be relative to that division. So if you make a paragraph inside that and you make it as 2 M's, it's going to be 32 pixel. And if you make it as 0 0.5 M's, it's going to be 8 pixels. Now, word of caution here, it gets extremely messy if you have too much of the nesting and you have defined everything into the M's. For example, if your body is defined as let's just say 16 pixels and you're inside that there is a division which is defined as 2 M's, that means now your division is having 2 M's, means 32 pixels. And if you define a paragraph inside the division and you define two M's again onto that, now it is going to be uh, 32 times two, which is 64, so 64 pixels just with the two M's. So word of caution here, it is too much relative, so be cautious while using it. Now the third guy that we are having is REMS, which is far more easier, uh, but again, a couple of word of cautions here. Now REMS are always relative to HTML tags. Uh, HTML tags are by default as 16 pixels until unless you are changing them using some of the reboot CSS or custom writing, custom written CSS files that changes the default behavior of HTML tags. It is by default 16 pixels. So no matter how much intended or nested your uh, elements are, whether that's paragraph or H1 anything, when you say two rems, it is always going to be 32 pixel given the fact that you haven't changed the default behavior of HTML. And that's basically it, my dear friends. I hope you understand it now. It is far more easier, far more concise when we just look at them in this way. Now, of course, it can be taken in a much more detailed manner using the editor, a lot of examples and all of that. If you want me to do that, just notify me in the comment section. I would love to make a quick short videos on the CSS units. So that's it for this video and let's catch up in some other video.